it's really you that deserved it because you don't have any debt, you have a lot of cash flow, and you're currently sending more than what's needed on your payment. I think that's probably why your file is even on my desk right now. So I'm going to rush this out to you because at the end of the day, we only have a couple days to fit you in. I mean, so what I'm is this? I'm already at 2.75, Daniel. Can you? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, like, so I don't, it's I'm not going to get any about, better than that. I know. That's what I mean. What I'm talking about is this campaign is actually designed to show you a way to pay off your balance at a rate that's under 1%. No way. Hey, Emerson, this is Daniel with your lender. Real quick, I just want to let you know, we are sending information to you. I just want to make sure this email is still valid. Emerson at iCloud.com. Is that mm -hmm. still a working email? Yes. Okay, good. I'm sending you information on a loyalty program that we have for our existing clients who have been current on their payments, but are also within an area that we are currently focused in for a campaign that it actually expires this month. And I have to timestamp it. So I'm assigned to make sure that you get this information. So thank you for verifying the email. I'm going to go ahead and send it out to you. But hey, while I got you on the phone, let me ask you a few questions. I'm going to button it up real quick for you just to make sure it's worth your time. Okay. The property, this is still your primary home? Yes. Got it. And it looks like the last time you refinanced was last year. You got a 2.75% interest rate. So obviously you got a good rate. But can Very I ask happy you, with it. Yeah, but the only way that you can actually qualify for this campaign is if we could truly benefit. And since you got a low rate, you know, I want to make sure I'm not just saving you a couple dollars, right? I really want to make an impact to help you. That's the whole point of the campaign. So with regards to the term that you have, even though you have a low rate, can I ask you outside of the mortgage, what other debts you have? Do you have like credit card debt, revolving debt? What I'm else outside of the mortgage? Credit cards, we pay them off every month in full and a couple auto loans that are almost paid down. So really just a mortgage, a couple auto loans and that's it. Okay, good. You have a good amount of capital every month. You got a good amount of cash flow. Yeah, really my goal in getting to that 2.75% was to be able to pay my existing mortgage payment from the old loan so that I could pay the house off faster. Nice. I'd so like you're to actually own sending more quick. than you're actually sending more than what's due. I do. Yeah, I send out about an extra $180 a month. That's why I love working with veterans is because you have discipline that most consumers don't. So I salute you for that. And that's something that, you know, for what it's worth that I think that's a praise that really needs to be mentioned. But anyway, let me ask you with regards to the extra payment that you're sending on top of what's due, the intent is to pay it off faster, right? I'm going to retire in 20 years and I'd like to own this house by then. Okay, wanna... good. I'm so glad you said that because now I know you may be a candidate for this campaign. But here's the thing is that you know, if we were able to show you how to pay this house off in that 20 years, at the end of the day, it's really up to whether or not you even qualify. So can I ask you, have, when's the last time you looked at your credit? I monitor it regularly. So I'm about 720. Okay, good. And it's probably because you keep your debts paid off. Here's the thing is that the information I released to you, it's pretty unique because we're only doing it for our clients. And the reason why we're only doing it for our clients is because at the end of the day, it's really you that deserved it because you don't have any debt. You have a lot of cash flow and you're currently sending more than what's needed on your payment. I think that's probably why your file is even on my desk right now. So I'm going to rush this out to you because at the end of the day, we only have a couple days to fit you in. I mean, so what I'm is this? Saying, I'm already at 2.75, Daniel. Can you? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, like, so I don't, it's I'm not going to get any about, better than that. I know. That's what I mean. What I'm talking about is this campaign is actually designed to show you a way to pay off your balance at a rate that's under 1%. No way. I know. But again, only a few qualify for it. But here's the thing is that you're on a 30 year fix right now. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is show you how to improve that amortization schedule, meaning that right now, because you're on a 30 year, a lot of your payments go to interest. Yeah. Most of it goes to About interest. Right 70%, now. Even, 80%. Yeah, even at, even at yeah. 2.75, which I thought is crazy. Yeah, it is. And that's because you're on a 30 year term. But the goal of the campaign is to show you how to get into a 15 or 10 year term. Like, and what that means is that you pay it off before the 20. Before I even go any further, because again, no promises. I want to make sure that this is even possible for you. Honestly, so what it sounds do, too good to be true. I would say that too. And that the whole reason why I have to timestamp this thing is to make sure that you at least were aware. And if you waive it, completely up to you. It's your choice. But what's funny is it's actually in line with you. Because the campaign is designed to show you how to pay your house in 15 years. Your goal is to pay it off in 20. 
That'd be so great. I, I do it sooner. Yeah. So I'm going to make note of that real quick. I already have your file. Let me just make sure a few things. You still occupied as your primary. You said that. Mm -hmm. Has anything mm -hmm. changed with employment or income? No. Okay. And then you haven't missed any payments. There's no forbearance that you went into because of COVID? Nope. Sit on time. Perfect. Okay, good. So that's easy. I'm going to update the profile. I already have all your information. I do need to update the credit report and file and request a new one. Is that okay? What do you mean update the credit report? Meaning file? update the credit report I have on file is when we funded your loan back in 2020 or 2019. Honestly, man, you called me like out of the blue. And I mean, until I know what you're proposing to me, I don't think I'm ready for any kind of credit inquiries or anything like that. Yeah, no worries. I wouldn't even ask if it wasn't worth your time, but because you mentioned you're trying to pay your house off in 20 and this campaign is designed to show you how to pay it off in 15, I think this actually checks off all the boxes. Your alternative right now, Emerson, is that you can continue paying more, but your amortization is your biggest challenge because every month, most of your payment goes to interest. I'm gonna show you how to actually put that more in your favor. So the ratio is gonna be more towards principal. I think that's what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to pay off the principal to retire in 20 years? Yeah, I mean, that's the goal. Yeah, so we're on the same page. I'm going to update the credit report right now. Is that all right? Can you tell me what the payment would be? Yeah, for sure. So the monthly payment is X. But here's the thing is that you can only get that low of a payment if you qualify for the campaign. And in order for you to qualify for the campaign, I need a full file to make sure and confirm that you qualify. I'm going to update your credit report right now. Okay, and it's going to be super quick. Is that cool? Yeah, roger that. And notice that I never mentioned or asked your permission. Besides the credit report, I never mentioned or asked your permission to learn more about it. I never talked to a degree, meaning going in detail. Right. Right. I never talked about complexities that will confuse you. It so was it's already like in motion. You just get the app and then present it at a time that would allow you like get them numbers and then handle any objections at that time. Right. And I'm glad you hit up those objections in the role play because number one is it's rare, but number two, it's a good example because those are hard objections. But the truth of the matter is that most of them are not in that situation. Am I right? Sure. Right. Most of um, them are check to check. They got debt. Their FICO probably isn't the best. And that's the great part about it is because, you know, I have no overlays. It's not FICO driven. Well, it's, most you know, of them, like you said that you pay your debts off in full every month. That's very rare unless very you're rare, dealing with right. someone that's right. So most of the time, what do they say? Like I got 10, 15. And then I would gear my pitch toward how can you pay that debt off quicker? Not right? only that, but you remove all the excess. You remove right. all the, you know, in four years when this turns adjustable, what do you think the rate's going to, you remove all that. Right. Because when I pitch it doesn't you, even matter. Yeah, exactly. Because when I pitch you, I'm going to tell you like, okay, cool. So this campaign is going to help you improve your FICO and then 12 to 24 months, we're going to help you exercise your entitlement. It's called a V8 Earl. You always have that available. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how to get into a 15 year fix, or I'm going to show you how to do this. Or I'm going to show you how to do that.